hello guys and welcome to biology tutorial this is the first episode of biology tutorial and of course uh we're going to be looking at uh, characteristics of living things and please note that in this tutorial i'm going to be giving you just what you need all right just what you need to what to know i uh, will avoid a lot of unnecessary word discussion so please uh, follow us closely and you see that what will be very very fine in what in biology okay so today i'm going to start with characteristics of living things but know that this tutorial is brought to you by o3 schools jump app it is all you need for short success in your examination it has all the past questions you ever want to ask for it has some wonderful features such as the classroom feature which teaches you while you are trying to decipher and answer to questions okay so that means for example if you are trying to word decipher what answer to a particular question there's a boat a chat boat an ai power chat boat all right that teaches you you can also ask the the chat boat questions because the chat boat knows the question you are currently on so it knows everything around the topic so anything you ask that chat boat is able to what to tell you okay it does not just tell you the answer directly because that would, that would mean that you are not learning so if you ask any question it can be able to answer you and lead you to you get what the answer all right wonderful feature there's a question search feature where you can set search, search, search for question uh, according to what according to topics you can use keywords or, or syllables or topics to search for for questions and you see all the questions that jamba set under what that particular topic wonderful feature also and there's the utm challenge where it competes with thousands of other jambites every week every weekend every weekend the winner amazing but prizes when amazing prizes not the major reason why we do that challenge and the major reason is that you are seeing your score every week every week after every week challenge you see your score right so that gives you what it makes you to see what your strengths make you to see what your weak areas and then you can be able to work on your weak areas also you are getting used to how jam sets his question okay so if you are getting used to how jam sets the question it builds what your confidence so wonderful feature and other amazing features on the app so please get grab the app immediately the app is available for both android phone for ios very soon and for your computer versions all right so in case you want to get the link to download the uh the app on your computer just send a message on whatsapp on this number 091 21 51 5246 all right so once you send a message on whatsapp on this number we will reply you and send you the link to download it for your system all right also uh, if you want to activate activation is just three thousand error as at the time of shooting this video so please go and what download and what and activate you can send message on this number also for on whatsapp for activation procedure all right now let's look at the characteristics of uh living things okay so uh, one of the first characteristics as uh, characteristics of living things characteristics of living things all right so one of the first characteristics of living things we are going to look at is movement All right so living organisms move from what from one place what to another right so they're able to what to grow also they're able to grow they're able to what to move from one place to another that is one of the one of one of the major characteristics of what of living things so why why some what why some living things or some organisms move very fast all right some what move very 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 slow all right we cannot compare the speed of a a tiger with a with a snail all right you can see that their movements are what very uh, they are, they are at both ends right? they are at both ends so uh movement is a very very wonderful and key characteristics of what of living in movement and growth okay then also we have two respiration all right so respiration is another wonderful of course uh uh uh, characteristics of what of living things because through cellular respiration uh humans or living things or living organisms are taking oxygen all right and then oxidize the food or to release what energy okay so respiration is another characteristic of what of living things so also we have nutrition 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 talks about the way uh, living organisms what uh, uh make and what and what and obtain what food are living organisms make and obtain or use food all right uh, for example plants and some bacteria they what uh they, they make their own food all right they make their own food so they are called what autotrophs they are called autotrophs autotrophs all right because the what they can make and what they can make their own what food 
they can make their own food. So we call them what autotrophs. Why some uh, some some uh, living organisms uh, like 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 animals, like bacteria and and fungi. All right, all those ones that hit hit heterotrophs, heterotrophs. All right, because all this one they depend on what on the plants. All right, to what to eat or what to make their own what food. All right, or to survive. Okay, so we call them what heterotrophs. Why those ones that can make their own food like a like plants that call what autotrophs okay now that is what about what nutrition how what living organisms what make all right how they obtain their own food and how they would use what the food all right so another characteristic of living thing is irritability 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 talks about how what living organisms are aware all right are aware and how they respond to what to to stimulus to stimulus are the awareness and their response to what to stimulus generally that's what irritability talks about all right the awareness and their response to what to stimulus okay so that is irritability then we have what excretion 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 talk about how what uh living organisms will remove what toxic toxic and what and waste substances from the body Right, how they remove what toxic what substances from what on the body that is what uh excretion. Okay, then of course we have a uh, reproduction, reproduction. All right, so reproduction is talking about what how living organisms make copies of themselves. Right, how living organisms make copies of themselves. Like, for example, for you that's watching this video, you have your father and your mother, so they come together and then what they give birth to, to you. Reproduction is a very, very interesting topic for what for students in what in schools. All right, so it's one of the most interesting topics. So I don't want to go dwell on that at all, at all, for any reason. So, uh, reproduction is another what characteristics of what of living things. Then we we'll talk about. Number seven, talk about competition. Competition. All right. So uh, resources are usually scarce. All right. Resources are usually scarce. They are limited in quantity. So you see that what living organisms will compete for those who are scarce of resources. They compete to get what those scarce resources. So competition is a characteristic of what of living things. Then of course we have the last one we we'll look at is adaptation. All right, it talks about how living organisms will adapt to changes in their environment. All right, so you can see for now, rain will be falling, and then uh, everywhere will be kind of a little bit cold. Then, of course, you now have their matan season coming where there's, a, there's, where there's much cold, they will adapt. Then, you see dry season, serious uh, uh, dry season. So, changes can will always come. So, how how those living organisms are able to adapt to those changes is what talk about what adaptation. That's what talk talk about in what in adaptation. All right. So these are the characteristics of, of, of living things: movement, respiration, nutrition, irritability, excretion, reproduction, competition, and what and adaptation. So uh, we've talked about them a little bit. So please, uh, you do not even need to. Most of you already know all this. Okay. So but please need to understand what what they are. All right, and know what how to what answer questions under them. All right, now I'll talk about a living organism that is both that that shares a characteristic. Is is they usually say it's, it's at the borderline between living things and non-living things, and that organism is viruses. Viruses. All right, viruses are the borderline between living things and what and non-living things. They share a characteristic between living things and what and non-living things. Why? Because the viruses in themselves, right, they are living organisms in that they what they depend on their host for survival. They depend on their host for for survival for survival. That makes them what living things. All right. And again, these viruses they can be crystallized, crystallized. All right. Because they can be crystallized, now that gives them this is what a characteristic of, of a non-living thing. Crystallization is what is a is is, is a is a characteristic of, of a non-living thing. So because they can be crystallized, then they are also what non-living things. So that is why we say that what viruses are usually they are what are the borderline between what uh living things and non-living things. They are the boundary between living things and what and non what living things. So this are, this this is just a past question. So let's look at a, a past question from Jam. Uh, okay. So we're looking at um, uh, 1994 question two. As it's showing on your, on your screen right now. This one is from the O3 Schools Jam app. So that is why you should, why you should get what your app immediately. They say the smallest living organism which share characteristics of living and non-living things are A. Bacteria, B. Fungi, 
C, viruses, and D, protozoa. So as you can see, the correct option there is what is viruses because uh, living things and uh, viruses share a characteristic of what of living things and non living things. They are at the borderline between living things and non living things. So that shows that what, what we are doing here today is not child's play, of course. So please make sure you download the Auto Disco Jam app and what and activate today. Do not forget to like this video, do not forget to subscribe, and do not forget to share this video to your friends and families. All right, now see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.